Yo guys, how's it going? For this video, I'm going to show you a simple and easy way to install Mac OS X on your computer. We're going to be using a slightly modified version of Mac OS X that works on common PC hardware. So that means you can use this on AMD CPUs. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so first, you need to download the Yasmite Zone DMG file. Google search it and you should find it. Like I mentioned, this is a modified Yasmite file that works with Intel and AMD hardware. Now to install this, you're going to need to have a USB flash drive. We're going to use a program called TransMac, which is available for a free 15 day trial. Inside TransMac, select your USB drive and go to Restore with Disk Image. Then go and select the Yasmite Zone DMG file. It's going to restore it to the drive. Then select the hard drive when installed Mac 2 and format the disk for Mac. Finally, reboot your computer and go into the BIOS. Now within the BIOS, you want to make sure that you don't have Secure Boot enabled, nor do you have BTD for virtualization, or don't boot from anything with UEFI in the name. Luckily, my default BIOS settings were fine and I did not have to change anything. So I'm going to boot right from the USB. It's going to bring me to this bootloader. Now, if you do have an AMD CPU, make sure you type in quotes slash AMD32 or 64 depending on your architecture on the screen. So I'm going to boot up. It's going to be on this window for a couple of minutes, so don't worry if it looks like it's frozen or it freezes. It's not. It just takes a little bit to boot up. So give this part time. All right. So now you should be at the menu selection screen. Go select your language. Now we don't have to do this because we already formatted the disk for Mac and TransMac, but if you didn't or if you're doing it from a fresh install, you can go to Disk Utility, choose your hard drive, and erase any partitions or repartition it if you need to. Okay, so now going back, let's go to Continue, Agree to the Terms, and select the drive that we made earlier from TransMac. I'm going to select it and hit continue and it's going to install to the hard drive. Once it's done, it's going to reboot your computer and you should boot up right from the hard drive. Okay, so now we're in the installation. We're just going to select the keyboard and pretty much all the basic setup, which you can just go through and sign in if you want to. And finally, you should get to the screen desktop and you have Mac OS X Yasmite installed. So as far as performance, it's very smooth. I don't have any issues. Um, and that's just me, like I said, just fresh installing and doing nothing else. Everything's just working well, rather right the box. Audio's working, internet's working, I'm connected via ethernet. So I have no problem with that whatsoever. Of course, you should go and download the tool MultiBeast. That will install any missing drivers that you might have and optimize your system to work with Mac OS X. So if you want a separate video on that, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll make a video on installing MultiBeast. But like I said, it's definitely a good, cool tool to install. So guys, this has been how to install Mac OS X Yasmite on your PC. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.